the deep ocean, a realm of perpetual darkness, crushing pressure and frigid temperatures. It's a world seemingly uninhabitable, yet as we'll soon discover, life finds a way even in the most extreme environments. Join me as we plunge into the abyss to uncover the secrets of ten extraordinary creatures that call the Deep Sea home. These remarkable beings, sculpted by evolution, possess astonishing adaptations that allow them to thrive in this unforgiving world. Prepare to be amazed by the wonders of the deep. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on more incredible journeys into the natural world. Our journey begins with a creature that embodies the mystery and wonder of the deep, the anglerfish. Imagine, if you will, a world shrouded in perpetual darkness, where survival hinges on a single alluring beacon. The anglerfish, a master of deception, dangles a bioluminescent lure from a modified spine, a beacon in the darkness that draws in unsuspecting prey like moths to a flame. But the anglerfish's most astonishing adaptation lies not in its hunting strategy, but in its reproductive process. The diminutive male, a mere fraction of the female's size, lives a parasitic existence, fusing his body to hers, becoming little more than a source of sperm, ensuring the continuation of their lineage in this most challenging of environments. Our next encounter is with a creature of myth and legend, a behemoth that has captured imaginations for centuries, the giant squid. This colossal invertebrate, reaching lengths of up to 43 feet, is a true titan of the deep. Its enormous eyes, the size of dinner plates, are perfectly adapted to the inky blackness, allowing it to detect the faintest glimmer of bioluminescence, a telltale sign of potential prey. Though rarely observed in their natural habitat, the giant squid's elusive nature only adds to its allure, reminding us of the vast, unexplored wilderness that still exists beneath the waves. Don't let the name fool you. The vampire squid, despite its sinister moniker, is a creature of surprising elegance and intrigue. Cloaked in velvety black, its webbed arms, adorned with rows of fleshy spines, give it a ghostly, otherworldly appearance. But unlike its namesake, the vampire squid doesn't feast on blood. Instead, this denizen of the deep has adapted to survive on a diet of marine snow, a delicate rain of organic debris that drifts down from the surface. This graceful creature, a testament to the adaptability of life reminds us that appearances can be deceiving, especially in the depths of the ocean. Chapter 4. The Gulper Eel. A living abyss. Prepare to be astonished by the Gulper Eel, a creature whose very form seems to defy the laws of nature. Imagine a fish with a mouth so vast, so disproportionate to its body, that it could swallow prey much larger than itself. The gulper eel's unhinging jaw, an evolutionary marvel, allows it to engulf prey with lightning speed, securing a meal in the scarce environment of the deep. But this creature's adaptations don't end there. Its long, whip-like tail, tipped with a bioluminescent organ, acts as a lure, drawing unsuspecting prey towards its gaping maw. Chapter 5. The Deep Sea Dragonfish, Fierce Predator of the Abyss. We descend deeper still into the realm of the deep sea dragonfish, a creature whose fearsome appearance matches its predatory prowess. This formidable hunter, armed with an arsenal of razor sharp, fang like teeth, is a force to be reckoned with in the abyssal plains. But its most remarkable feature is its bioluminescent barbell, a glowing lure that dangles from its chin, enticing prey from the darkness. The dragonfish's mastery of light extends beyond hunting. Its bioluminescence also plays a crucial role in communication, allowing these denizens of the deep to signal potential mates in the pitch black abyss. Chapter six, the giant isopod ancient mariner of the deep. Our next encounter is with a creature that seems to have time traveled from a prehistoric era, the giant isopod. Imagine an oversized pill bug, its segmented exoskeleton gleaming under the submersible's lights. These ancient mariners, some growing to over two feet in length, are scavengers, feasting on the carcasses of dead marine animals that sink to the seafloor. Their ability to survive for extended periods without food, a testament to their remarkable resilience, makes them perfectly adapted to the unpredictable nature of life in the abyss. 
Chapter 7, The Yeti Crab, A Symbiotic Symphony in the Deep. Our journey takes us now to the hydrothermal vents, oases of life in the otherwise barren abyssal plains. Here we encounter the Yeti Crab, a creature named for its furry white pincers, but these hairs are more than just a fashion statement. They harbor colonies of bacteria, a symbiotic relationship that allows the Yeti Crab to thrive in this toxic environment. The bacteria you see detoxify the poisonous minerals spewing from the vents, providing the Yeti Crab with a safe haven and a source of sustenance. Chapter 8, The Fangtooth Fish, A Menacing Visage, A Gentle Nature. Don't let its menacing appearance fool you. The fangtooth fish, despite its disproportionately large dagger-like teeth, is a creature of relatively gentle disposition. This deep-sea dweller, measuring a mere six inches in length, is a testament to the power of adaptation. Its oversized teeth, while intimidating, are essential for survival in the deep. In this world of scarcity, the fangtooth fish can't afford to be a picky eater. Its formidable fangs ensuring that any prey it encounters won't escape its grasp. Chapter 9, The Dumbo Octopus, An Umbrella in the Abyss. Prepare to be charmed by the Dumbo Octopus, a creature whose whimsical appearance belies its deep sea dwelling. This cephalopod, named for its ear-like fins that resemble those of the beloved Disney character, is a master of underwater acrobatics. Its fins, flapping gracefully, propel it through the water column, while its webbed arms held aloft create an umbrella-like shape, allowing it to drift effortlessly on the currents. The Dumbo Octopus, a testament to the diversity of life in the deep, reminds us that even in the most extreme environments, beauty can be found in the most unexpected places. Chapter 10, The Hatchetfish, a master of disguise in the deep. Our final encounter is with a creature that embodies the ethereal beauty of the deep. The hatchetfish, its thin silver body reflecting the faintest glimmer of light, renders it nearly invisible in the water column. But the hatchetfish's mastery of camouflage doesn't end there. It possesses a remarkable adaptation known as counter-illumination. Specialized organs called photophores, located on its underside, emit light that matches the intensity of the faint sunlight filtering down from above. This ingenious disguise makes the hatchetfish practically invisible to predators looking up from below. From the bioluminescent lures of the anglerfish to the camouflage of the hatchetfish, the creatures of the deep have evolved astonishing adaptations to survive in this extreme environment. Their resilience, their ingenuity, their sheer diversity serves as a powerful reminder of the boundless wonders that lie hidden beneath the waves. Which of these deep sea denizens captivated you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your fellow ocean enthusiasts. Thank you for joining me on this incredible journey into the abyss. Next time we'll be exploring the vibrant coral reefs, teeming with life and bursting with color. Until then, keep exploring.